Well, this is probably my last um, message from the shop for a little while, a couple of weeks, two or three weeks. Uh, as Monday, God willing, we're heading towards Israel again. Last time I was there was January. Many of you followed me then. I appreciate those of you that have been sending your prayer requests for our Western Wall, Wailing Wall, some people call it. In Israel, they call it the Kotel, uh, which is as close as the common people could get to the Holy of Holies. There's a part of that Western Wall where people from around the world go to pray and leave their requests in the cracks of the prayer. We continue to receive your requests and uh, you can message them to me, text them to me, uh, get them to me the whole time we're in Israel. I, I do it like I endeavor in any ministry. It's a Western Wall prayer ministry. Now, like I say, it's all under how James would put it, if God wills it or God willing, when Yoram picks us up at the airport, uh, one of the first places we're going to go, God willing, is down to Kibbutzim Bari, to Starot, uh, to the Gazan border there to touch base uh, and check on how things are progressing since I was there in January. Hopefully pray with people uh, and do what we can to help. And then the next day, God willing, I'd like to take a look at those red heifers that are there in Israel. Uh, and you can check out, uh, I'll be talking about that passage in Ezekiel once I'm there next week. Uh, but my send off scripture is Hebrews 12, 28. Our God is a consuming fire. It says in Hebrews 12, 28. Uh, 26 and 7. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that that cannot be shaken, that cannot be moved, that's unshakable, let us be filled with thankfulness so that we can worship God acceptably with wisdom and awe. And then verse 28 for our God is a consuming fire. I love that idea, that DO idea of consequence, consequentially and consequently, both of those, DO. Consequentially and consequently, DO. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom, a basilia, a realm of rulership that cannot be moved, unshakable. Let us be filled. Let us possess with boldness a gracious manner. Let us be bold in our thankfulness. Let us be thankful always, but this idea, the uh, soliton idea, uh, ekamon idea, is uh, combined together. Uh, the gracious manner of thankfulness means that we should actually actually be filled with and possess with great boldness this idea of thankfulness. And so worship. Now, worship is interpreted a lot of different ways to a lot of different folks, but worship in uh, this idea or the concept that I'm dealing with in the context of Hebrews 12 is actually the idea of serving God with your heart. God not serving me, but me serving God. God not waiting on me to change my mind, but me always in a position of patiently waiting before the Lord. And fear of God is that which is greatly misunderstood. The concept of fearing God is this reverence and respect that comes when we realize that the most superior essence in all the universe is Jehovah. 
And that needs to take our breath away. The concept of God needs to cause us to pause and to be breathless. I think we get too busy in our lives, don't we? We get too caught up in what's happening. And what ends up happening in our world and in our lives is we get distracted, we get caught up into our own world, and then God takes the back seat. And during COVID, Marcel and I both said, for years I said we need to spend an hour alone with God. You know, I use that biblical model uh, from the Garden of Gethsemane with, between Jesus and the disciples. Could you not tarry with me an hour? And for years I said, we need to spend an hour alone a day with God. And at, during COVID, I realized an hour was not enough. It needs to be a constant process in our hearts of always being aware of God's presence. And aware of God's presence in every circumstance, in every situation I face. You've heard me say it time again. Nothing is ever wasted. No delay, no distraction. Marcel was reminding me because I was worrying about the weather for Monday when we fly out. And she said, you know as well as I do that no matter what the delay is, and I see a lot of people post, you know, on Facebook about pray for, you know, making my connections and this and that when they're traveling. And, you know, the truth is no delay is an accident. Every delay has with it a divine appointment and might even be divine protection. I think we far underestimate how involved God is into the details of our lives. Now, sometime when we're in eternity, we'll look back and realize, man, I took so many things for granted on planet Earth. One of the things that I take for granted is, or probably make a mistake in, uh, is this idea that I can control my circumstances when I can't. And that's where I, I boil it all down to this idea of God is a consuming fire. And the only thing I come back to is that old example that I've used for ages. The idea of how you get impurities out of the precious metal, specifically gold. The way the goldsmith would get any impurities and make it a higher grade of gold is to liquefy it. Get it so hot, gold so hot that it liquefies. And then gold, when it's in its liquid kind of burning state, the impurities in the gold rises to the top. And then there in the foundry, the gold foundry, the goldsmith would take the greatest care in skimming off any impurities because you don't want to waste your gold, right? It's worth that much but you skim off the impurities. And then once you have them off, you let it solidify, become hardened again. And then once that do is done, you stoke up the fire and liquefy it again. And then skim off the impurities. And I got a point here, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Our God is a consuming fire within our hearts. What he's doing is purifying our hearts, our lives, our minds, our faith walk. And the circumstances and situations that you and I face don't happen because of an accident. They happen so that he can purify us, that he can expose the weaknesses so that we can repent and ask God to purify us more because our God is a consuming fire. Whatever it is we face, whatever it is our world faces, nothing is wasted. It's God's constant process of purifying the precious heart of the follower of Christ. Whatever it is you're facing, 
Our God is a consuming fire. May we never, ever lose that in our hearts and our lives. God bless. Uh, hope to see you, talk with you soon. I appreciate you um, listening, praying for us on this journey we're undertaking as we prepare even more so spiritually over the weekend, taking off on Monday, God willing. I appreciate all your prayers and sharing any videos on my YouTube channel or on Facebook or Instagram or Reels or whatever form it takes. We're just trying to advance the teachings of Christ in the process. God bless. Much love.